Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Brittany with the Seniors Blue Book. And this morning I'm hanging out, well, it looks like I'm in the courtyard or the front area of the Venice Green Village community. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good, how are you, Jessica? Doing great. I'm so happy for you to join us and so excited to talk about, I think a lot of people that are in their beginning research of looking into communities, it's, uh, it's really important for them to understand what is memory care and defining some of those differences and services that you provide. First, I wanna ask you, tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and kind of how you fit into the senior living world. Well, I have actually been in the senior living world a long time. Uh, I started pretty much in a skilled nursing facility as a receptionist, I would say about almost 15 years ago. And it was an amazing experience. I learned all about the, the, the world of senior living. Um, just to start with, I did business office management. Um, I've also done HR and skilled nursing facilities. And then I worked as an admission director for four and a half years in a skilled. So I, that really kind of started my experience. And then going forward, I actually, um, you know, worked for a memory care um, after skilled for almost a year. It was a startup community. So I got, I got to really kind of know about, um, you know, taking care of memory care patients and, and helping with our residents, um, finding out what their needs are. Um, so I've been in this industry quite a long time. I've done some home health niches a little bit to kind of learn those experiences. Um, so and from the employee side, the HR experience really helped me as well. So as you can see, I'm well-rounded and, um, you know, in senior living and I really love it. It's a passion of mine. Absolutely. Isn't it strange? Like, I think I'm, I'm a couple years behind you. Like, I think I'm at year 13, but don't you look back and you're like, how did that much time pass? Like, honestly, I feel like I was just, you know, like, I did the moonwalk when I graduated high school down the yeah. thing. I mean, how is that, how is that so many years ago? Right. I know. And it seems like just yesterday, you know, and I'm thinking, gosh, how old am I right now? You know, <laughs> so I got into it when I was a bit younger and you know, it's crazy how time flies. Exactly. Well, I want to, um, I want you to share what, you know, who Venice Green Village is, a little bit about your community, kind of what makes you guys a little bit different, of course, your size. So tell us, tell us about Venice Green Village. Sure. We are actually a smaller community. So our max capacity of residence is 38. Um, we, we, actually take pride in it being smaller. We could spend more time with our residents, get to know our families on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, it just makes it more of a homey environment. We do have a lot of beautiful outdoor space, which is very important mentally, especially now. So we have a beautiful courtyard, as you can see, Brittany's sitting in front of it, um, where the residents can freely go in and out all day long. The only time that we end ever end up closing the doors is in the evenings or when it does get unsafe, when there's lightning and that kind of thing going on. But, you know, we take pride in our outdoor community, but also we have sunlights that are here. We are actually built back in the day, I just should say probably 70s, maybe early 80s, and we were uh, residential at one point. So our rooms are oversized. A lot of the things back in those days were built quite large. And we also have the sunlight coming in our hallways. So, you know, it's the natural lighting is extremely important, uh, especially for, you know, Alzheimer's and dementia, because it does help. And just like any of us going outside and, and getting a little sunlight actually kind of gives us some, you know, energy, some vitamins that we need. Um, but we also do, you know, activities and things that cater towards dementia and Alzheimer's. You know, everyone's on a different level when they come in. We have higher functioning. Um, so we try to cater towards those people and what their needs are, as well as the ones that are a little further along that need a little bit more one on one attention. So um, as far as the building structure, goes, you know, um, I would say it's perfectly fit. And, you know, as far as the residents going up and down the hallways, there's plenty of rooms to, you know, places to go and to walk. Cause you know, a lot of times they like to walk a lot and that gives them that energy and that exercise that they need as well. So. Mm -hmm. 
I was totally muted, which I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> dream about doing. So there we go. So um, it's a beautiful community. And I do want to share, we've got a, a video, of course, from you guys, from your, uh, from your website. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that we can see a little bit about what you're talking about. is she's she's going like this basically she's like yes. having the time of her life she's so cute so sweet looking yes she is still with us and she's she's fabulous absolutely her energy is beyond mine <laughs> so yeah well you know as far as memory care goes again if let's just say we're starting from scratch and i'm a family member looking for a loved one and kind of finding out some initial information Tell us what is memory care and what makes it different from a, a traditional assisted living? Sure. Memory care, I mean, our community is all inclusive. So, you know, things can get a little expensive as people progress health wise. So, with our memory care, um, depending on if they're high functioning on, you know, as they progress, the prices will stay the same. There's a little increase yearly, but it's not like a tier group. So some people are based on a tier for medical things. So if they come in, they're high functioning, their prices are lower. And then as they progress, their prices go up, but those prices could go up monthly. They can go up every quarter and it gets very expensive and there's unexpected things that they have to pay for. So one, one thing about us is it's comforting to know that when, you know, your resident, your loved one comes in, that the prices are going to be pretty much staying very much the same, except the increase yearly and that you get notices for, and it's, and then that stays the same for that entire year. So, you know, that's, that's one, one benefit. Another with memory care, with our memory care and, and most memory cares is that it's secure. So when you're bringing your loved one in here and you're one of the dangers out in the community is that they're exit seeking and that they, you know, being exit seeking, meaning they could leave the house, walk down the street, someone picks them up in their car or they end up in Tampa. So, I mean, those are things that can be a very big danger to themselves. So being a secure place, we feel comfortable. They can roam the property. They can roam the courtyard and know that they're not going to be out in the street. So, you know, that's one thing with memory care is that we are secure and that, you know, our doors remain locked so that no one ends up going outside and injuring themselves or getting lost and those type of things. Another thing with memory care is we cater towards Alzheimer's and dementia patients. And, you know, it is different when you, when your level of, you know, acuity and everything going on, it's, it's important to cater towards those needs where when you're dealing with people on a regular basis, it's different. Their needs are different. So we do activities based on that. And of course, with dining, we do the three meals a day, snacks during, but families and things like to bring in different extra treats. And that's great. Whatever the loved one wants. And we try to cater toward their needs as well. But, um, you know, those type of things, they're still engaging. They're still in the dining room right now with COVID. Of course, we have to do our, <laughs> our distancing, but they still get to sit with people and still, still be in that environment with others that are like them. And a lot of times in the community, they don't get that freedom and that relaxing because they feel they always have to be on point where when you're around people that have the same, same mind frame that you do and likes and dislikes that you do, you seem to be able to relax a little bit more and be who you truly are at that moment. So, you know, I feel that with memory care, people need that extra and special, special taken care of and that need. 
So, and we, you know, as far as the care goes, the care is going to be from start to finish. If you're with us, you know, we're not going to charge you more because of extra care. So, you know, those are, that's another thing about being all inclusive. Awesome. And um, as far as, I don't know what's going on with my camera in the moment. <laughs> All of a sudden it was like, I disappeared and I came back like a ghost. So here I am. Um, but, you know, as far as memory care goes, you hit it, you know, as far as safety. So there's the major difference of being secure. There is a, it's a different type of care that you receive, of course, and everything is individualized to the resident. And so as far as the um, caregivers go and the training, and you know, I just want to touch on that because I know we've both worked in senior living for quite a while and yes. caregivers are amazing. Number one, just want to say thank you to anybody watching that mm -hmm. is a caregiver or frontline person. Um, but it is a different um, uh, type of care that you provide as a caregiver to somebody who does have a cognitive impairment. Um, and I know sometimes there are so such special people that are directly the angels of, of that type of care because it takes a different level of patience and understanding. And um, when I used to do trainings, um, Jessica used to tell people, you know, if that resident tells you that the sky is green, you say, That's isn't right. it beautiful? That's, that sky is green. It's so beautiful. And so it's just those simple things and that understanding that truly yes. gives that extra care and compassion for residents in memory care. Definitely. And, you know, there's something called sundowning and, you know, those are things that you, you just get to know that person on a regular basis that they're going to do, they're going to react differently after three o'clock or four o'clock, you know, there's, and how to handle that behavior and everyone's behaviors are different and they do change, you know, as things progress. So, you know, but being able to handle that, to have the training and the knowledge you know, you do have, you go in with it, with that mindset, you know, we're, you're going to pack your bags today and we're going on a trip. Okay, let's do it. We're going on that trip. And then, you know, to, to change the subject, um, you know, to do things to kind of, to get their mindset back, maybe on family, something they used to do when they were children, those type of things, then will change that behavior. So, but learning those things, yes, it does take those courses and that, you know, that training. So we have a really awesome team and, you know, everyone's on the same page. Awesome. And right now, you know, with, with everything going on, is your community accepting residents and what does the process for move in for your community look like? Yes, we're still taking admissions and the process that we're doing right now is following, of course, the CDC guidelines, but we also have our own policies in place. And one is that they would have to have the COVID test done in the community and make sure that it's negative. And we do have great companies that we can set you up with that comes to your house and do it, everything. But also once they come in, we have a couple of isolation rooms. The isolation rooms are all for the new admissions. They're already furnished. So they come in, they have a few days, we do the testing on them again. So that gives us two negatives for the COVID. Then they're able to go in their permanent placement, their permanent room. So, you know, the family has a few extra days to get some furniture here. Um, the furniture, we don't require a lot. It's just, you know, a bed, nightstand, a TV. We like to keep our residents out in the community. We don't like to keep them in their rooms. It's, it's healthier mentally for them to be out and about. Um, but, you know, that gives them a little bit of time. But the isolation period is very short. We try to get our testing done as soon as we can. But that's just kind of double you know, double duty there. And I think, you know, with the way things are spreading and how quick this is, uh, the virus is, I think it's, you know, it's a safety measure that we really needed to implement. implement. So, um, you know, it is a little tougher on the families to hear that there is any isolation at all, but it is only a few days. It's not the 14 days of quarantine. I mean, we are memory care and, you know, it does a lot mentally for them when they're isolated to their own, their, to their room. So, you know, that's something uh, we definitely had to consider, but, you know, going forward, you know, it's been a process, but it's worked. So, Absolutely. That's yeah. great to hear. So again, for people listening that are just tuning in, this is Jessica with Venice Green Village. And so we're just discussing the differences between memory care um, and, and assisted living, just kind of some of those specifics, but also you are accepting residents um, and you're doing it in a, in a safe manner that is successful. And if people um, want to reach out to you, Jessica, what's the best way to, to call you? Um, do you do virtual tours or how does that process work for somebody interested in the community? Well, actually, what uh, 
you can call me, definitely don't hesitate. We also have a wonderful website, uh, venicegreenvillage.com. And then um, also too, my phone numbers actually are listed. There are main numbers listed right there, the 941-488-5970. So you can contact that number and ask for Jessica and marketing. And I would love to help talk to you. What I'd like to do is I like to discover more about you and your family and what your needs are. And then what I do after we talk, I'll send you the links to our website, or you can just go on yourself and tour that way. Um, and also I'll send you additional information and photos that I have um, of our community. So it just depends. Um, some people like to call, some people like to email marketing director at venicegreenvillage.com is my email address. So, you know, if, if there's, if there's questions you just want to shoot out there, I know with technology, a lot of people don't like to, to answer the phone or to call. So that's okay. You can email me and I can email you information. We can talk that way to start with. Um, you know, the process for a move in is, is really not as bad as people think. It does take a little bit of time when our rooms are available, but the planning part of it, you know, I'll try to help guide you through whatever it is. And then, you know, as far as signing paperwork and all that good stuff, we try to try to make it less painful, <laughs> as painful less as we can, but um, <laughs> nobody <laughs> likes paperwork. <laughs> oh, and there's all, a ton of it too. So, Absolutely. We try to help where we can. And, and like I said, if you just need a quick information, if you want to email me or, or give me a call, I'd love to talk to you and find out more about your loved one. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing all the information about your lovely community. It's, it's a great community. It's a great size and sounds like your team is amazing. So thank you guys for everything you're doing for everybody, of course, living in your community, your families and your staff, you guys are working so hard. So thank you so much for everything that you do, Jessica. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for being out there and, and really connecting our community during these rough times. Thank you so much. Well, everybody, I think that's a wrap. We are going to uh, go ahead and put all the information, of course, for Jessica that she mentioned and Venice Green Village in this post so that you can reach out. Please reach out whether you are looking for information for yourself or your loved one, or if you're a professional and you're wanting to connect with Jessica, Jessica's awesome. Um, and uh, she's definitely somebody that you want to know. So uh, everybody that's watching, again, have a great day. And Jessica, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day too. Thanks, you too.